Now, in the current scenario, an ambulance gets stuck up in traffic. Even though everyone wishes to give way, they are unable to do it because of traffic congestions. Our life is at stake. So let's see a video. So this is the normal scenario where the ambulance gets stuck in traffic. At this juncture, I would like to explain our idea. It is divided into three important places of application. First one, the ambulance. Second, the server. And the last, the traffic signal. The first one is the ambulance. It is fitted with a GPS and a GPRS module. The driver has an LCD interface with Google Maps API preloaded where he can choose the destination address. This data will be sent to the server and the shortest path available is chosen. The location of the ambulance is tracked instantaneously. The second part, that is the server, has all the details about the coordinates of the location of the traffic junctions in the way of the ambulance. The difference between the location of the ambulance and the traffic junction is calculated. When it is approximately 300 meters, the data is transmitted to the traffic junction. And at the traffic junction, a microcontroller receives the data using GPRS module and it changes the traffic signal. This is how our QNAV ambulance works. These are the components that we are using for a prototype. The first one is the Intel Galileo Gen 2 board. Next we have the XB modules for wireless communication. And then we have two Arduino Uno R3 boards. Now I will explain each individually. Now first we consider the Intel Galileo board. It is one of the very powerful boards. So now you can see one of the boards that I am having in my hand. It can be interfaced with many modules but in our prototype we are using the board as a server which can communicate to the traffic lights which are connected to the Arduino Uno boards using the Zigbee modules. So these Zigbee modules over here act as a wireless connectivity between the Intel Galileo and the Arduino Uno boards. So when the data is transmitted from the Galileo to the Zigbee and that data is again transmitted to the Arduino Uno boards which too have a Zigbee module. So this is a prototype idea. As we have now seen the components, let's see how they are connected in the model. So these are the boards. The first one is the Intel Galileo board. And then we have the Arduino Uno board connected to the first traffic junction. And that is the another Uno board. So this is how we have connected these boards to the traffic junctions which are above this cardboard. So now I'm going to explain about a prototype. The components that we saw before have been used in this prototype for demonstration purpose. This is the normal scenario where the ambulance gets struck in traffic. When our QNAV comes, say at a safe distance of 300 meters, the signal turns green and the traffic gets cleared. Now the ambulance can move across the junction without any problem. The signal again turns red when the ambulance crosses the junction. When the ambulance enters the next junction region, it again turns green. The traffic is cleared. The other vehicles move faster. And now when the ambulance reaches that region, it gets a clear way. So it reaches the hospital faster and sooner. Whoever saves one life, saves the world entire. I save many lives. Then who am I? QNAV.